I was feeling that I'm gonna die here, literally. I was hopeless. This is like a miracle that we get end up. You were actually able to capture footage of your escape. If you could just walk me through some of what we're seeing here. Airport was in chaos. Mm -hmm. Everyone is trying to escape, um, get out of Afghanistan. Hard to believe that not long ago, Ariana was performing for thousands in the same country that she and fiance Hasib were forced to flee just last week. What did that feel like to be on the ground, not only with your own terrifying experience, but witnessing families really being torn apart? It is just really heartbreaking. The kids, small babies, uh, screaming, uh, crying, women crying and um, I, I don't know, like right now I have shivers in my hands when I'm talking about it. Ariana says it took two attempts and countless hours to get to the U.S. Army base where the couple navigated through a sea of people hoping to board a flight to safety. So many women were fainting uh, and they would just try to get them out of the crowd and there's no space, no space to take them even out and they were just stuck there. The crowds were so dense, many were gasping for air, including a woman and her baby. The baby was like screaming, and I was like, oh my God, this baby's gonna die any minute now. And she handed the baby to me, and she was screaming, saying to the soldiers, look, I'm an American citizen, let me in. Without the proper documentation, the woman was denied entry, leaving Ariana with an incredibly difficult decision. She was in a very bad situation at that moment, I'm sorry. And then um, my second thought is telling me if I take the baby in and then her mother cannot make it, what's going to happen then? I cannot separate a baby from the mother and the mother actually wanted me to take the baby in. But then I couldn't, the, the soldiers asked me if, if this is my baby. I said, look, it's not mine, but can you please like let her in? because the baby's gonna die. And they said, I'm sorry, madam, we cannot do that. I assume you do not know what happened to that family? No, in the I have end. no idea. Because the other thing is that night, apparently that was the last time that they would open the gate for somebody mm. and they wouldn't open it again. I was the last person to get in. Sitting down with me today in Los Angeles, Ariana says her heart remains with those who were not able to make the journey with her. Is there fear for, for the family or friends perhaps, um, even the citizens that you don't know that you've clearly inspired who have been left behind? I am actually truly uh, concerned and worried about the millions of Afghan people who are left behind. Since the day I came here, I've been in touch with my friends and some of the family uh, members left in Afghanistan. They are hopeless, absolutely hopeless. They're left with no food and no shelter and they're living in fear right now. And my heart just bleeds for them. I am trying to still work from here, spread the word uh, and ask the world, you know, to help those innocent people. That's all I can do and I'm not going to give up.